Hello and welcome to a footy feed special from Marvel Stadium where the AFL has just announced a landmark State of Origin match between Victoria and an All-Stars lineup to be played here on Friday, February 28. Cal Toomey will get more details in just a moment, but it comes with a massive donation split across the clubs, the PA and the AFL. Yeah, $2.5 million put in by all those parties and that's just not going to go for the immediate relief of the communities hit by these devastating bushfires, but also to the future funds as well. So the relief in the future about rebuilding these communities that have been so badly hit. So a great contribution there from the AFL, the AFL Players Associations, both men's and women's, and also the clubs across the country. And we're pretty excited about this game to be staged here in seven weeks' time. We are, absolutely. Now the lineups and selection process is still to be confirmed. There's still a few things to work through there and that'll come through over the next few weeks. But we do know the coaches. So Damien Hardwick, the two-time Premiership coach at Richmond, will lead the Victorian side. Makes sense that he leads them. He's a Victorian yep. himself. Obviously great uh, results over the past few years with the Tigers. And then John Longmire will uh, lead the All-Stars team, the Sydney Swans Premiership coach back from 2012. So great heads of both sides there. And they'll be pretty well involved in the selection process because uh, Gil McLaughlin said today that there will be about a cap of three players per club uh, asked to put forward from each club and, and we expect that that'll help fill out those lineups. When announcing the game and the donation today, Gil McLaughlin was overly pleased with the immediate response of the footy community. I want to thank the AFLPA, Paul and his team for their support. I also want to thank our 18 clubs, presidents, CEOs, coaches, football managers and clearly all of our players for their support in an industry donation and their support for a game that can also bring the community together. Now Cal, this match is going to be played in the middle of the Marsh Community Series to be played over the pre-season. So a match between Essendon and West Coast that was already scheduled for the Friday night has been pushed forward. But the exciting news is that the AFLW match that night between Collingwood and Melbourne will be played here as part of a double header. So that's really exciting news. Yeah, great news there. And it's great news for the AFLW competition to get that sort of exposure. Look, the risk of injury is there for all players participating in this All-Stars clash. But according to... Geelong champion Patrick Dangerfield, there are much bigger issues at hand. Yeah, there's, there's risk and injury every time you take to a training session. So this is no different to, to playing a JLT game that will happen around the same time. So um, injury is just a part of our game. I think what we're seeing around Australia is, is far more significant than you know, a player doing a hamstring. So that's just a, 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 a fact of our game. We'll look beyond that. If we have players that are injured, then you know those players will deal with it. But we go with our eyes well and truly open and understand that it's a, a, something far greater than just ourselves. Now, Cal, we tried to twist Danger's arm into telling us who he wanted to play with. He gave us Pendles, but who else do you think should be there? Yeah, he'll be there in the Victorian lineup next to Pendles. Scott Pendlebury, the Collingwood captain. We wanted him to say, Dustin Martin, come on down, come uh, be a part of this Victorian midfield. He wouldn't say it, but yeah. that's the one I want to see. Dangerfield next to Martin. Under the ruck work of Max Gorn with Marcus Bonzampelli floating around. Now, you're an All-Stars man. Yep. I think you're going to ditch your Victorian background and say the All-Stars are on you this time. I, I don't think you can match a midfield like that. Well, how about I get Nat Nui leaping over Gorn, throw that at you. Yeah. Tim Kelly at their feet. Brady Grundy not in this side. Oh, he's there. Grundy will be probably relief ruck next to Nick Nat. <laughs> oh, is that right, relief ruck? <laughs> Steve Canelio. Yeah, he's all right. Uh, Lockie Neal, throw him in the midfield. Tim Kelly, we will have to work out what we do from a Victorian perspective with Tim Kelly on the wing. So, plenty to work with Bradley Hill. It's going to be exciting, isn't it? Because there's so many names. We did a. And everyone wants to be part of it. Yeah, that's the most exciting thing, I think, that, you know, because it's at this stage of the season and they'll just be compensating this game instead of a Marsh community series game so it doesn't really make too much of a difference in terms of their pre-season planning and preparation so there's going to be some big names up for grabs and putting the names forward to play in this contest. And the most exciting thing for me from here is how they pick the teams. We'll have all the details over the coming weeks on afl.com.au and the official AFL live app so don't forget to keep clicking back.